if you're new to Incubating Eggs, hopefully this fifth short clip of seven will give you the information you need about the digital display menu on the Brinsey Octagon 20 and Octagon 40 advanced machines. This is the Octagon 40. It's simply twice the size of the Octagon 20. So we're going to pan in on the digital display menu and show you how easy it is to control the settings of the Octagon 20 and 40. They are identical. Okay. Okay, so what you can see now are the settings on the machine. Uh, the temperature setting, which tells you that the machine is operating at 37.5 degrees. That's telling us what the reading is inside the machine in terms of temperature. It's also telling us that the humidity on this machine is currently at 67%. So it's giving us the humidity reading. What we want to do now is to show you how to go in and change the target settings on these. So we could change the target temperature. At the moment it's operated trying to get to 37.5 at all times. That's its target temperature. But we can change that. We could make it 39 degrees if we wanted to. We don't. The recommended setting for chicken eggs is 37.5. Right, so how do we how do we access the settings then? So we need to press the minus and plus button down simultaneously to initially unlock the menu control. Now that's deliberately designed so that it's not that easy to do because you, you don't want to accidentally get in there. So you literally have to press the two buttons down simultaneously. And sometimes it takes two or three goes to do this. So let's try. OK, so I press them down together uh, simultaneously and it's taken me straight into the, uh, the menu control. And the first thing we see on here is the temperature control menu. Now, if I want to scroll down between the various menu headings, I can use the plus and minus at this stage to take me through. So let's give, show you how that works. I press the plus and it takes me oops, through relative humidity, high temperature alarm setting, low temperature alarm setting, the cooling, whether I want it in centigrade or Fahrenheit, and finally to a save heading. So. Any adjustments I make will only be saved once I get down to here. Uh, I have to scroll down through the menu and, and, and click OK for save. So I'm going to go back by using the minus button to take me back up through to the start here where I was looking at temperature. So let's um, assume we want to look at each of these options in turn and we're going to start with the temperature setting. So to access that menu, to check its setting, I'm going to press OK. So there you are. You can see that it's set at 37.5, which is the factory setting and the recommended setting for hen eggs. So I have an option to put it up or down now with the plus or minus buttons if I want to. Uh, whatever temperature I decide on, it won't be saved until I scroll right the way down through to the save button at the end. But let's just show you what we mean about scrolling, um, adjusting temperature up or back down. On the minus button takes it back down. OK, I'm going to keep it at 37.5 and I'm going to move on to the next menu heading by pressing the OK button. And that's taken me to the relative humidity menu. I'm going to um, enter that humidity menu and see what has been it's been set at. Press that again. There we are. It's been set at 20%, and that is the default setting. There is only any point in trying to set a target humidity for this machine if you have a humidity pump with the machine. That humidity pump will then pump water into the machine to meet the target that you set. Now, there's a range of setting between 20% and 80%. The pump can be purchased separately or it can be purchased with the machine if you specify you want an EX version of an advanced machine. So you can see here why it says EX only, because there's no point setting humidity unless you've got the pump uh, to go with this machine. Uh, so we're going to leave that as it is. I'm going to press OK and move on. 
let's try yeah, let's say okay so i've now moved on to the high alarm um high temperature alarm setting if i go into that we'll see what that's set at so the high temperature alarm here is set at two degrees above the incubation temperature we've set this machine to which uh, if you remember is 37.5 degrees centigrade so if for some reason the internal temperature rises beyond 39 and a half degrees centigrade the alarm will sound and what you'll see is a plus T symbol being displayed in the menu along with an alarm going off now to silence the alarm you simply press OK and that'll silence the alarm for 30 minutes but it will sound again if the temperature is still above the two degrees uh, above the 37 point sorry the 39.5 degrees centigrade uh, how might or what might cause that alarm to go off well if you leave the incubator in front of a window with sunlight shining through it that could raise the temperature internally two degrees above the target temperature um, if you left it by a radiator similarly that might that might um, increase the temperature inside the incubator beyond the target temperature that you want so one of the beauties of the advance versions of the Octagon 20 and Octagon 40 is they have these high temperature alarms and low temperature alarms. So we're going to leave that at two degrees as the as the high temperature alarm, uh, two degrees above our target temperature. And we're going to move on to the next one. That's taken me to the low temperature alarm setting. So if the temperature falls below, let's see what it falls below. It's set to three degrees. So if the temperature falls below the three degrees below 37.5, in other words, if it falls below 34.5, then the alarm on this machine will sound, but it'll only sound if that temperature remains below 34.5 for more than 60 minutes. And what you'll get then is a minus T symbol uh, on the display to tell you just in case the temperature has rectified itself in the meantime and you hadn't heard the alarm. So that's why you have an alarm and a symbol because sometimes the temperature will come back up and you won't, you wouldn't have known the alarm had gone off unless you also saw the minus T symbol uh, in the display or the plus T symbol if it had gone too high. So the reason the alarm interval, if you like, is longer on the on the low temperature uh, alarm is because overheating is more critical than cooling. So the alarm on low temperature only sounds if the temperature has gone below 34.5 for more than 60 minutes. Now, actually, we'll keep that as it is, three degrees, we're happy with that, okay? Actually, interestingly, some users do like to allow the temperature to drop and uh, to do it regularly. And so what we have on this machine is a setting for cooling. Um, People tend to use it really for waterfowl to mimic the behavior of a duck that may leave the eggs on a more regular basis. Um, so the Octagon Advance allows you to choose a daily cooling of between one hour and six hours or 360 minutes in the menu. So let's have a look because what we need to see is... So currently it tells us, it tells us that the, the cooling menu is set to off however i can go press the plus on here and there it tells me that it's now potentially set to 60 minutes 120 minutes press 180 minutes 240 minutes 300 minutes okay let's go back so these are the periodic cooling settings i could choose now 
you're unlikely to want to use this unless you have certain waterfowl and there you might decide to introduce the cooling. So we want to make sure uh, on this setting, it's chicken eggs, we want to make sure this is set to off. I'm going to press OK. And it takes me through to uh, a choice of centigrade or Fahrenheit where I can decide whether to read the temperature in Fahrenheit if that's what I prefer. So let's have a look what we've got here. I press OK and it tells me that it's currently being set to centigrade. If I wanted it in Fahrenheit, I can change my plus. I don't. I like the centigrade, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to OK that. And finally, now it's taken me down to the save button where any changes I've made up until now, uh, I need to save. If I don't save, if I don't press OK, it won't change the make those save the, the make those changes. Won't save those changes. So I'm going to press OK. OK, it's taking me back through to now what the the, the machine is doing, what's going on. Thirty seven point five, its temperature and sixty percent humidity. And I have shown you how to go through the menu and make any changes you want to. In the next clip, we'll look at placing eggs in the machine, commonly referred to as setting eggs and we'll look at turning them as well.